Hello there, this is Slata Brouwer and you are now watching Violin Lounge TV where you learn to improve your violin and viola playing with joy. You might recognize this, you are following lessons and your teacher gives you this boring piece and you have to practice it all the time because it ain't easy. And um, But how do you make such a boring piece? beautiful music. How do you make this boring piece sexy so you like to play it? Um, tip number one. Know that you can make beautiful music out of everything. You can improvise with every piece of sheet music you should be able to turn into beautiful music. So if it sounds boring, it can be part music, but it also, but, but the The, the biggest part is the one who plays it. You can make music out of notes. That's what you do when you play from sheet music. That you turn the notes, turn the paper into beautiful music. And you can do this with everything. Um, when I've discovered this is um, when I was practicing scales hours and hours a day. I'm not talking about hours and hours a day of practice. Uh, but uh, I'm talking about two hours of scales a day. Then you need to make it. You can choose to say, uh, oh, uh, this is just very boring and I have to do it. And uh, I'm going to whine about it all the time. But what you can also do is that you can try to make music out of it. Even a scale you can play so beautiful that it really uh, that it makes you weep. <laughs> and then in a good way, not in a bad way. Bad way, because if it sounds boring all the time, then you will get sick of it after those hours. So really make your practice time fun for yourself, even if you're playing that boring etude, even if you're playing scales. So that's tip one. I'm going to tell you in this video how to do that, because you might be thinking, oh, she might say that, that you can make music out of everything, but I can do that, or I don't know how. But I'm going to tell you right now, so keep watching. Uh, tip uh, number two, uh, make phrases in music. We call this phrasing, but you can see it as making musical sentences. Um, I've uh, gotten here a tune number 19 by uh, Hans Seed, which is, well, not the most juiciest etude in the, in the world, but, uh, although, although it's very useful. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make music of it. If you're playing it in a boring way, it sounds... Um, like this. Well, I'm just after bar two and I'm already almost falling asleep. Um, so try to see where the sentence begins and where it ends. Try to make a story out of this music. <laughs> Trying to make a story here uh, and see what sentences are. Try to play it in a way that you're telling a story to someone, and you need to. You're not telling a story in this way, but you want to make it very exciting to uh, to uh, grab your uh, listener. Um, so uh, then. Uh, tip number three, discover some melodic lines. It's kind of the same as, as what I'm talking about now. But for example, what I see is that in uh, these first three bars, I'm going... Those are the first notes. Uh, every bar uh, consists of 12 notes, but those are the first notes. So that is the line I need to follow. And then... It That, that is the line that I discover in this music. And it can be different for you. Maybe it's... So if I have this line in my head and I'm going to uh, put a little accent on, the, uh, on, on, on those notes. Then it's also better. So combine this sentence... Uh, uh, forming with those melodic lines that you can discover. Then we go to tip number four, important notes. Um, so these can be notes that mean uh, something harmonically, but most of the times you can 
hear it. If you just think, okay, I'm going to say which note is important, which is that. For example, if I've got four sixteenth notes in this piece, uh, you can uh, assume almost that the first note of each four is a little bit more important. So you can play it like this. But you can also do... And then I'm thinking, well, I think the uh, first note of the bar is a bit more important than the other ones that, that I just found important. So uh, it's not just... Uh, so if I have this bar... I found these important, these three. You can hear which three they are. But then I think, hey, I find this first one a little bit more important than the others. Um, so then it's already it's already improving. I hope you find it too. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, and then the uh, fifth tip I would like to share with you is use your imagination and visualize something with music. For example, with this piece I could imagine that it's, and it's for every piece and every, every person it's different, just for yourself. Find some images you can have in your head when you're playing. Uh, I think with this piece I was just playing... Um, That, that, that you can um, imagine uh, a water that is, that is, that is uh, 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 running uh, uh, in, in a, not a river, a small one, <laughs> how do you call it? <laughs> I never thought I needed this for a violin tutorial. But uh, like, like, a, like a little river that, is, that is, goes off very easily. So just keep that in your head. Uh, I always say, for example, with students who have to uh, uh, play something uh, ver uh, uh, very softly, they think, imagine a little puppy. <laughs> And uh, they go play differently all the way. They, they find it nonsense to say, oh, I have to imagine a puppy. And then they do it and it, and it becomes different. So we're going get back to the water. <laughs> um, And then you see that I don't really consciously do something. I just imagine that it's um, something, yeah. Uh, I just imagined something and your fingers will follow. Also your fingers. So just try it out. <laughs> okay, I, so I hope these tips are useful. I will repeat them one, uh, one time. So uh, we've got for tip number one. Know that you can too make beautiful music out of everything. Two, um, use phrasing. So sentences in music. Three, uh, see where the melody goes. So if it goes up or down, uh, what happens with the melody? Uh, four, important notes. Uh, try to select notes that you find more important and let them hear. Um, and then tip number five, visualize something and just use your imagination. I hope this is helpful. If you've got other tips to make that boring piece sexy, then just share them in the comments below. Thank you for watching Violin Lounge TV. Do you have questions for me on violin or viola playing? Please post them in the comments below or send an email to info at violinlounge.com. Do you like this video? Then just please click like. Um, do you want more violin top tips? Then go to violinlounge.com. You will find lots more. And you can also subscribe to my free weekly ease in there. Where I shall share a lot of uh, valuable information for free. I wish for you to express your unique beauty on the violin in every piece you can find. Happy playing. Bye bye. Join me in the free workshop Weight versus Pressure, where I teach you to play the violin effortless with a beautiful tone. Go to www.violinlounge.com slash free hyphen workshop to get direct access to this workshop. I'm sure it will be worth it.